confused. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 24 for you guys. We got some swippages and swappages to do today, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm very excited to do so, especially on the Neville figure. I cannot wait to do this switch. I've been wanting to do this switch for a while now. I've seen some people do it. Um, to be honest, I can't remember who's done it, so I apologize. You're not probably going to get credit, but credit to you. Credit to you if you're watching this and you've done this before. I, I respect you and it's a very awesome swap. But today, not only are we going to be switching around a Neville, I also have a, a Happy Rusev Day fix-up. We also have an Apollo Crews fix-up that's not going to be completed because I'm a stupid jackass. And I thought I had a figure to complete it, and I do not have it, and it makes me upset, and it makes me just want to freaking just catch a friend. But we also have a beautiful Seth Rollins fix-up that we're going to be doing. Even though it's not technically a fix-up, it's technically switching the figure back to the way it was. But it's the Rollins that we used at the Rumble, which was already a fix-up. So you guys will see what I'm talking about. But anyways, let's get into what we're going to be doing here today. First of all, we have the Elite 55 Neville, and this figure is so freaking fantastic, guys. If you don't own Elite 55 Neville, I really, um, I really, you know, I, I want you to get it. I need you to get it. It's a very awesome figure. I honestly don't know what it goes for nowadays, considering, you know, he's in AEW. And it's kind of weird because his last figure before he got released from WWE was this Elite 55 Neville in the All Elite Wrestling colorway. Would you look at that? The AEW attire. Black and gold. How beautiful. But anyways, guys, what we're going to be doing, since I have two of them, you guys know the one I use in the pick fed has the beard. It's the, the custom Neville head scan we made long before we got this one. He's got the pissed off face. It's the BEW head that, you know, he made me forever ago. We're going to be using this figure, and we're going to be switching out the lower legs and putting it onto this Elite 42 Neville, and not only that, we're going to be popping this head skin off and putting my extra Elite 55 Neville that has a mark on his stupid forehead for some reason. I'll have to get that off, or maybe I'll just switch that one since that'll be just a body anyway, and then maybe I can make that one into a black attire or some, some sort of fantasy attire. That way I'll have three different looking Nevilles. Another thing we may do is switch out these thighs right here because I can see there's some black coming through, and the, the Neville figures always have a problem with that, but the Elite 42 Neville's really, really strong figure. I just, I'm not a big fan of the head scan. Even though it looks just like Neville, I prefer heel Neville over face Neville. So we'll be switching that out. And so the, the basic idea is to have this look, except we'll have the heel Neville face. And I'm also going to be putting these basic Seth Rollins silver knee pads on it. And that should make it look even better to match the uh, the, the details that are on the, the, the attire on the gauntlets here on the trunks there. So that'll be a really sweet Neville fix-up. I'm very excited to see what that looks like when it's completed. Another thing we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you these Rusev Day fix-ups in the back. And then um, Apollo Crews, you guys saw. If you didn't see the MDT Royal Rumble, guys, go check out the MDT Royal Rumble. Definitely go check out the MDT Royal Rumble. Apollo Crews was in that match, and I wanted to do this fix-up before he was in that match. But he is going to be getting the... Uh, I got this fix-up idea from Balor Figs UK, who's WrestleMania. He does a pick fed. His WrestleMania drops today. And I'm very excited to check it out. And hopefully it's up today. And I'm going to be checking that out and reviewing it for him today. But anyways, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be switching these white boots on here. And since I don't have the rest of the freaking parts I need, I'm going to be popping these knee pads off. So he's going to be knee padless for a minute. I want the Bo Dallas Elite 36 knee pads. That's what I need. So I got to wait till I get some more of those. And so he did this same fix up. You put the white knee pads, you put the white boots. It's a really fresh fix up. If I have a picture of it on my phone, I'll pull it up on the screen. You guys will see exactly what we're going for. But we're not going to have it completed here today and it makes me sick. But you know, you, you can't always have what you want. Psych, here at MDT, we get what we want and, and we make it happen. But we can't make it happen today. I could put some Elite 45 Seth Rollins knee pads on there, but they have gold on there so it looks stupid and acetone toning that off of the knee pads is really sticky and it gets really ugly and I don't recommend doing it so I'm not I'm not gonna do that we're just gonna avoid all of that today but the last fix up that we're gonna do guys is it's not exciting because this figure already had it on here this is the Elite 45 Seth Rollins head scan we're gonna be putting the top talents back on here because you guys know that at the Royal Rumble Seth Rollins was rocking the Elite 37 head scan and so uh, I switched the Elite 45 on there and now I'm gonna be switching the top talents on there 
and uh, this is the fix up that I use for MDT. He is uh, basically it's the Elite 64. He's got a black knee brace on there from his knee injury, and then um, I just put some SummerSlam Seth Rollins arms on there because the black and red ties in nicely to the Burn It Down pants, don't you think? And then when you put the Burn It Down T-shirt on there, which we will do at the end of the video, it looks absolutely fantastic. So we'll do all of that, and that will be the finish to the video. That'll be, you know, one of the results that we get. And then this is something I threw together today. It's really, really basic. It's literally not even a fix-up at all, but I got this shirt from my boy Ring of Clothing, and it's just the Happy Rusev Day shirt, and it's shirtless. This is the one I always use for Rusev. And instead of using uh, his regular t-shirt that he came with from Elite Series 65, I put the Happy Rusev Day t-shirt onto Aiden English, and it makes it look even fresh. So now, they're a matching tag team on Vindication. How beautiful is that? Good stuff, man. Really like that really basic, but it's there. It's freaking there. Happy Rusev Day. So I just figured I'd show that off in this video. But let's go ahead and get into the swap, guys. I guess we can heat up. Uh, we'll, we'll do Neville's heads, and then we'll do Neville's lower legs, and then uh, we'll do the Apollo crew. Really basic stuff, guys. It should be, uh, we should be able to knock this stuff out, and we'll take a look at everything at the end. But let's go ahead and get started on action figure surgery. All right, guys, so first of all, what we're going to do is go ahead and heat up the Elite 55 Neville bottom legs, the Apollo Crews boots, and that's going to be it for this portion. We'll go ahead and switch that over to Neville, and we'll slide off those Apollo Crews knee pads, and then we will switch over to Seth Rollins' head scan and Neville's head scan, and that should be pretty, it should be pretty simple to do, but we'll have to see when we uh, get it going. So let's go ahead and hit it. All right, guys, let's see what we got going. Hopefully, I don't burn my skin off. So let's go ahead and hit it. Uh, oh, yeah, baby. This is going to burn my skin off. Let's go ahead and, and try and get this. There's the one leg. Go ahead and pop it. If we get this all in one, you know how we do. If we get it all in one, I'll be completely shocked. All right, let's see. Uh, but we need to put the knee pads on first, you stupid idiot moron. Jeez, why didn't we do this before? It's going to get too cold. Oh, crap. There's the one knee pad. Where's the other knee pad? There it is right there. Now go ahead and take the left leg. See if we can get this on here. The Elite 42 Neville is pretty solid, so maybe if this is, you know, hot enough, it should go on. No, it's not going to go on, you stupid idiot. God almighty. That side didn't get near as hot as the other one, I guess, because it, you know, wasn't, it wasn't the side closest to the heat, and that's why the other one went on much easier, or at least it got closer. The Apollo Crew should be really easy, so I'm not really worried about it. God almighty. God almighty, man. All right, well, F it. We're going to have to come back to Neville, but Apollo Crews, again, like I said, should be pretty easy. I hate how, like, these black boots, I swear the black regular uh, laced wrestling boots always get, like, really loose. Like, their ankles always get really loose first, I swear. Any other boots don't really have that problem. It's always just the regular lace that, you know, like the Randy Orton, the Apollo Crews, the 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 regular black, black, black. Why was I saying it like that? What are you, freaking idiot, Brad? Come on. Slide the one knee pad off. Stupid Apollo Crews thick calves. Come on, Brad. There's that one, and then we'll just pop these on here. We'll take a look at it at the end. To be honest, he, he doesn't even have to wear knee pads, to be honest with you guys. He's one of those wrestlers that I think could pull off the no knee pad look. We'll take a look at Apollo at the end, and um, we're going to have to reheat up the stupid Neville lower legs. I won't show that on camera, but I will. Uh, I'll go ahead and attach that for you guys, and then we'll move on to the head scans of Neville and Seth. All right, guys. I did get the kick pads and lower legs onto Neville. Now what we're going to do is heat up the Neville Elite 42 head scan while simultaneously heating up the Elite 45 Seth Rollins head, if I can do so. And then we will heat up the top talents and the Elite 55 Neville head as well. And hopefully we don't snap any neck pegs off. I feel like the Elite 64 or any, any Seth Rollins has like a problem with that. I don't know what it is, but it, it seems to do that. And then we will uh, switch those. We'll put the t-shirt on to Rollins and then we'll see what everything we've done here today looks like. All right guys, let's see how this goes. I'm going to do Rollins first and hopefully it doesn't snap the neck. Okay, thank God, it just popped right off. The Top Talents head scan, I swear, has like some issues. So to be honest with you, I need to take all my Top Talents head scans and I need to uh, just, 
just like cut them out. That way I can just pop them off whenever I want. That way I didn't gotta heat them up, if you guys know what I'm talking about. I need to do a video on that technique, to be honest with you. But there's the Elite 45 head from Rollins, and then we take the Elite 42 Neville, and I wanna get up under it. Make sure that we get that out, there we go. And I'm going to pop the Elite 55 Neville head scan on there. And once that is complete, God, it just kind of popped on there. That was weird. It literally didn't, ha like, have any force behind it. So now that we've done that, guys, I guess we can go ahead and line up everything. Everything is completed here today. I'll throw, the, I'll throw the shirt on Rollins. That way you guys will see what it looks like at the next segment, the last segment here of the video. And we will finish things up. So I guess I will see you guys when we get there. So here's everything that we have done here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. Guys, besides Rusev Day, but you guys saw that at the beginning of the video. Pretty much first Seth Rollins. I mean, this is pretty much what I was talking about guys I mean it's just the burn it down the the shield three pack t-shirt with a SummerSlam arms and a knee brace on the elite 64 Rollins it looks pretty solid if you guys can get what I'm saying I mean it looks pretty freaking sweet I like it it's very simple but that arm swap there looks really good it also looks good on the top talents Rollins if you guys haven't done that but that is the elite 64 Rollins fix up and that is what he'll look like in the pick fed pretty much for now and then we have the let's go to the Apollo real quick you guys can see I mean without the knee pads I think it still looks pretty fresh Apollo Crews still looks nice I love the white boots it makes it all clean and come together but I'm telling you man those Bo Dallas knee pads look so good but now that I'm looking at it without knee pads on am I weird for thinking that looks good let me know down in the comment section below. I think it looks way better than expected there. The white boots really tie into the attire because there's no black in the attire. So I think it really comes full circle there. And I even think if I have an extra pair of these silver ones, I think the silver knee pads could also pass for the Apollo crew. So we'll, we'll just have to play around with that and see what that looks like. But the main event figure that we got here, guys, is the Elite 42 slash Elite 55 Neville fix up with the heel head scan, the purple attire with the, the silver knee pads and the black kick pads. Very nice Neville figure. I love the way it came out. I think it looks fantastic. Really digging the way this came out. I think I like the solid black kick pads more than the, the black, purple, and white that we get with the original Elite 42. You know, that that's way too facey. I think it completes it better for the heel look of Neville when it has the all black kick pads and the, you know, the black tape and everything behind there. But the, the knee pads tie in perfectly to the attire. You guys can see the silver's pretty much match, the black tying into the rest of the attire, and just, just oh, Apollo. But that pretty much does it for today's episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery, guys. I wish that we had more fix-ups to do, but um, my birthday's coming up in a few days, and hopefully I can get some more figures in here, and we'll do some more surgery and stuff, because the surgery is like one of my favorite things to do here on the channel. The, the swippages and the swappages, and showing you guys how to sort of part switch and do all that good stuff. It's very fun to me, and it's just sweet to, you know, make your WWE figures look even better than when we get them from Mattel. So we also have Lieutenant Dan, Elite 55 Neville back here now, so that's pretty good. Him and uh, Elite 42 Neville sort of switched places there, but thank you guys for watching. That is going to do it for today's episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Go watch the MDT Royal Rumble. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyAmToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.